if you've played any amount of Ace Combat 7's multiplayer, you've seen the strongest meta builds out in the wild. X2s with EML, F22s with QAMs, F15s with SASM, Falls with HCAA, and MiG-21 with MGP and decked out missiles are all prominent fixtures of basically any room with special weapons activated, much to the ire of people who actually want to have fun with this game. So, what other builds are good? Well, you clicked on the title, so you know what this is all about. These are my top 10 non-meta builds in Ace Combat 7. Number 10, Typhoon with LAAM in 2250. Kicking off our list in the last spot, the LAAM Typhoon is an extremely binary aircraft. More on that in a moment. By utilizing stealth parts, in conjunction with its native stealth characteristics, and attacking using the highest range weaponry in the game, the Typhoon can become a force of nature in low cost rooms. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that higher cost aircraft have superior radar detection ranges, so by playing the jet in a low cost bracket, you can maximize your stealth potential. Again, the jet is one of the most binary in the game. When it doesn't work, you just get hunted down in a slow, weak, and unmaneuverable jet and have a miserable time. But when it does, the Typhoon can go entire matches undetected and dominate the scoreboard from the shadows. Number 9, F-15J with HCAA in 2000 cost. Next on the list is the HCAA F-15J. It's an oddball of a plane, and one that I see very, very few people flying in 2000 cost rooms. Sure, it's not the most maneuverable in the bracket, since it can only mount a single part, but it makes up for it in two main ways. First, with its incredible stock engine power, you can outclimb and outrun a huge proportion of the tier. This can help you disengage from fights, or even straight up win them sometimes. Secondly, HCAA is a great weapon, and with 50 shots and decent ammo management, you won't need to worry about running out of ammo before you win. The plane has one specific advantage that also makes it incredibly good. It is more maneuverable by far than the F-18. Being easily able to kill the tier's QAAM spammer is an incredibly strong trait, and with the F-15J's novelty factor makes it a strong pick at 2000 cost. Number 8. SU-33 with HVAA and missile at 2250. The availability of EML on the SU-33 has caused most people to overlook its potential as an HVAA platform and dogfighter. This, however, is a mistake, as the SU-33 with HVAA is an excellent aircraft. HVAA is a relatively decent mid-range weapon, able to pick out and punish specific targets with ease when they're at low energy. At 36 part slots, the SU-33 has enough space to cram in a full range of upgrades for both its standard missiles and HVAA, which allows it a good amount of flexibility. In highly dispersed lobbies with multiple discrete dogfights, the ability to punish a single target or pick off a low speed fighter is invaluable, and the HVAA puts it at the top of its cost bracket. Number 7, SU-37 with HPAA and missile at 2500 cost. The Yellow Squadron Special is the ultimate style plane. With a combination of hard-hitting short-range missiles, full PSM capabilities, and reasonable maneuverability, the Terminator can win in nearly any lobby given a skilled enough pilot. Standard missiles are made vastly better by the addition of the bonus flight time part, and can be used to corral your enemies into position for kill shots with the HPAA. This plane gets in close, sinks in its teeth, and doesn't let go until it's got its kill. The HPAA has surprisingly good range as well, about 3,700 meters, which allows for some cheeky shots at Morgan pilots carrying jammers. If you're not on top of your game, you'll find yourself falling behind in this jet, but if you're feeling sharp and dominating your lobby, take it out for a more challenging style of gameplay. Number 6, SU-35S with LAAM and missile in Unlimited. Much like the SU-33, this build utilizes a combination of missiles to be effective at various ranges. Thanks to the high base damage on the LAAM, the Directional Proximity Fuse Level 1 part brings their damage to a high enough level to one-shot the majority of planes in the game, as long as they aren't running armor. This leaves the aircraft with enough arm slots to buff its missiles as well. 
Much like the HVAA, the LAAM gives the jet good standoff punishment capability, but it also allows a crafty pilot to entirely decline engaging with the furball for a good chunk of the match, denying the enemy the ability to down you and increase their score. With full PSM capability, limited stealth, excellent speed and maneuverability, armor, and powerful weapons for all ranges, the SU-35S is a well-rounded jet that can do everything you ask of it. Number 5, the SU-57 with pulse lasers and gun in Unlimited. Bringing in the top half of the list is the SU-57. Most aircraft rely on missiles as their primary method of destroying enemy aircraft, but not this one. The SU-57 eschews any form of missile-based firepower in exchange for its pulse lasers and excellent performance. With a range of around 5,000 meters and the highest damage per second of any energy weapon, its pulse lasers are capable of annihilating whole furballs in seconds. The SU-57 additionally has amazing maneuverability, full PSM capability, and the ability to tail and trap opponents like no other aircraft in the game. Essentially, once you're behind someone in an SU-57, you can bracket them between your buffed gun bullet stream and your laser blasts, then simply walk your weapon of choice onto your target. This diabolical trap is nearly impossible to escape from if performed by a skilled pilot, and makes the SU-57 crushingly powerful at destroying single targets. In terms of aircraft you don't want to see on your tail, nothing surpasses the SU-57. Number 4, the F-15E with 6 AAMs and missiles in 2500. Leading off the final four of the list is the joint most maneuverable aircraft in the game. The F-15E has 34 part slots, similar to the Su-37, but it distinguishes itself from other 2500 cost aircraft by having access to both 6 AAM and standard missiles. 6AAM is an incredible asset, and arguably the single best special weapon in the game after the recent buffs. It has a short tracking delay after launch, which is crippling for fast missiles like LAAM or HVAA, but for slower missiles with better homing like 6AAM, this delay allows the missile to drop into a trailing position behind enemy aircraft. At high speeds, the ability to pull a bit of lead, snap off a missile, and nail an enemy is incredibly powerful. It also has a decent range of 5,500 meters and multi-lock capability, which of course can lead to huge scoring opportunities against tight and slow furballs. Even with its base ammo capacity, the F-15E has 42 of these awesome missiles and has enough slots left over to maximize its standard missiles for close range shooting, which is held back only by its lack of access to PSM. With its access to incredible weapons, the best maneuverability in the game, and enough body slots to fit it all together, the F-15E has the potential to be an undeniably dominant aircraft. Number 3, the F-14D with 8 AAM, in both 2000 and 2250. Buckle up for a trip to the danger zone, because the number 3 spot on this list is the F-14. As the lowest cost aircraft with access to 8AAM, this craft is defined by its weaponry. 8AAM are similar to 6AAM in that both have a slight launch delay and multi-lock capability, but the 8AAM has an incredible 6,500 meter range, which gives it the edge over virtually every weapon in the game. There are two downsides to using this weapon, however. First, its reduced homing period lasts longer than the 6AAM, which makes the weapon unsuited for dogfighting. Second is that its missile locks will stack together, leading you to occasionally waste multiple shots on a single enemy. Fortunately, there's a simple technique that you can use to avoid this outcome, weapon toggling. Whenever you switch weapons, your aircraft will attempt to get a target lock with the new munitions. So, by simply waiting until you have locked onto the enemies you want, firing, then double tapping the change weapon button, you can reset your locks, and thus limit the ability of the missiles to stack them. By implementing this technique into your gameplay as muscle memory, you can eliminate the main disadvantage of the 8AAM. The maneuverability and speed statistics of the airframe are decent as well, and at mid to high speeds, you can really feel the aircraft come into its own. Overall, the firepower available, combined with the reasonable kinematic performance of the jet, make it an excellent plane in any room it finds itself in. Number 2, the F-22 with 8 AAMs in Unlimited. 
The F-22 gets a bad rap for being flown mostly by tryhards and scrubs with QAAM. However, its secret sauce is the 8AAM, which, as we covered before, is an incredible missile. The Tomcat is somewhat limited when it comes to maneuverability and speed, but the F-22 solves all of its problems. It has everything. Great stealth, incredible maneuverability, top-tier speed, excellent acceleration, high HP, and even full PSN capabilities. Mixing all of these ingredients into one plane means that there is virtually nothing out there that can stop you as long as you keep your range and keep slamming shot after shot into the furball. Overall, the F-22 is as dominant in-game as it is in real life. Number 1, the SU-35S with 6 AAMs in 2500 and Unlimited. And the number one slot goes to the SU-35S with 6 AAM. It beats out the F-22 for one reason, flexibility. There are two main components to this, both having to do with its choice of weaponry. Firstly, as discussed before, 6 AAM are better at short-range dogfighting than 8 AAM, which means that the SU-35S is more viable in the phone booth than the Raptor. Secondly, when locking onto enemies inside of cloud formations, you will sometimes have to wait for an extended period of time while your weaponry acquires the enemies. With 8 AAMs, this means you will often waste tons and tons of missiles on cloudy maps, as you can no longer use the weapon toggle technique to avoid wasting ammunition. With 6 AAMs, however, you don't really face the multi-lock problem, which gives the SU-35S another advantage whenever enemies hide in cloud formations. The SU-35S is no slouch when it comes to the airframe either, possessing excellent engine power, great speed, high-level maneuverability, innate low-level stealth, good HP, and of course, full PSM capability. Overall, if you want a build that you can take into any lobby at any time on any map, you can't go wrong with the SU-35S. And that concludes my top 10 non-meta builds list. You can find each of the builds mentioned in this video in the links in the description. If you have any loadouts of your own or questions about the video, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Peace out.